Welcome in another Unity video. Today I want to show you a small tip which helps you increase your productivity and then decrease the time of developing your game. So probably m most of you have uh, been already struggled with uh, starting the game in the play mode. It's taking a, lot, a long time. So as you see on the screen for the demonstration, I have just started my project which I'm currently developing. This is like a space shooter game for the mobile devices. So this is just a simple game and uh, you, you can tell it's running because you have the like lots of animation on the screen. So I just want to look, uh, I just want you to actually pay attention how long it takes to actually start a game. So when I stop this project and then I press play, this game is going to start, but there is actually delay before the game is actually running. So it's taking a, lot, a long time before the Unity start this project. This is because every time I press play, you need to make a copy of the current scene and then work on that copy. So every time you change, manipulate any value inside the editor, the value is not se set because we're working on the copy of the scene. You can uh, you can read uh, through how the Unity is just entering the play mode on the documentation. But uh, the topic of this video is to actually really show you how you can decrease this time and then start your game straight away in the editor, so without any delay. So, since the Unity 2019.3, Unity has uh, implemented experimental future in the editor. So now you can go in the edit and then project settings and then go to the editor tab and scroll right, right at the bottom. So you have the enter play mode settings. So this is the settings and then enter play mode option experimental. So if you check this option in, Unity will no longer make a copy of the of your scene. Let me just move this tab over here. Oh, maybe, maybe there. Okay. So if you if you check this option in, Unity will no longer make a make a copy of the scene. So to compare the timer, just pay attention how long it takes actually to start the game now. So here it is with the settings. You see the game is starting straight away. There is no delay. And this problem is much more worse if you're working on the larger on the larger game. So this is like a this is a small game, which have a few animation. But once you start adding more things to your project, the the loading time is is getting increased. So this is without the settings. It's taking a few seconds, and this is with the settings with this. And this is with this uh, mode option turned on, so it's just running straight away. So I hope these small tips will help you decrease time, or the developing time and some frustration. And uh, it's going to be helpful, so thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you did not subscribe this, to this channel yet, please consider to do so, so you will see more video like that in the future. So thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next video.